If you think you need highly detailed characters to stand out in your documentaries, you're probably wrong, because there's channels like Neo, Spectacles, Lemino and Nexpo who are pulling the same or even more views than other channels who are using these super detailed characters. So in this video I'll share with you 5 ways to make very simple characters so you can speed up your creation process without risking any potential views. Let's get into it. So in order to make your simple characters you want your character base. So to get your character base you can go here to Mixamo and download any character you want. There's a lot that are pretty useful. For example you have this mannequin right here or maybe more realistic characters like this Leonard guy right here. And if you want to import these characters with an animation in Blender you can do that. You can go here to animations, select one and basically import this to Blender and then give it a custom material to make your stylized character for your documentary. Then another way is go into the character creator website and then go here to overview, free resource and animatable and free to own characters. And you will have here five characters, five base characters already rigged that you can use as a base to make your stylized characters for your documentaries. Then you have this free add-on, the Make Human add-on to make characters, realistic characters. I've used this add-on in the past and it has some limitations but you will get pretty good results. Then in Blender you want to basically delete everything and import your character. In this case I'm importing this uh, mannequin right here. If you want to make an animation with this, you want to select select your rig and then delete the keyframes here in the timeline and that will allow you to work more comfortably. And let's make the first character. You want to go to material preview, select your character and then go to materials and basically delete all the materials that this character has. Then you can add a new and for example I'm going to make this character blue and just going to tweak the base color and leave everything normal and then I'm going to press right click and shade flat and then go to the modifiers add modifier and add a decimate modifier and I'm going to put the radio here 2.3 sorry 0 0.03 and you will have this effect right here and there you go you have your first character it's similar to the style of spectacles neo and even i have used this technique for a video that i did a while ago then to make another character basically you want to make this white decrease here the saturation and you have white and then you go here to the emission and increase the strength and there you go you have this style that i think nexpo used in one of his videos and you can even make this a different color if you want make sure you also make this color right here and you have infinite possibilities with this then for the next variation you will want a more complex character like this one and again you want to select this and basically delete all the materials and add a new material and in this case i'm going to tweak the base color and make it somewhat red like this and then I'm going to open here the shader editor I'm going to get close here and then I'm going to press shift a and add a Fresnel node and then drop down here the emission and I'm going to connect the factor to the color and then increase the strength to something like 2 and then you want to press shift A and add a color ramp basically to control the contrast right here so let's make this closer and you have something like this. So this gives your character the effect of constantly having some sort of rim light and I saw this type of characters being used a lot in some thumbnails. Not a lot in the actual documentaries but in thumbnails I saw that a lot. Then you can delete this, also decrease the strength to zero and increase here the saturation and then decrease the roughness and here you also have another type of character that for example Imperial uses. If you decrease the saturation here and make this kind of gray and then increase the metallic to one and increase the roughness a little bit, you'll have another type 
of character that it's also similar to the imperial style another pro tip you can actually go to the original material this one and then select here the normal map Control c and then Control v on your new texture right here and then plug here the normal into the normal and you will have more details like this and then other thing that you can do and this is used by Lemino for example is here reduce the metallic and just leave the roughness like normal like 0.5 then let's make this kind of red and then select the emission color select the eyedropper and select this color and increase here to 10 and you'll have this type of character that Lemino uses and this is not fully red because of the color management settings we have here AGX and with AGX if the color is brighter it loses saturation so it goes to white like in real life but if you select something like standard more strength means more saturation so you will have a very red character uh, using this you can also use filmic and it will give you a slightly different result and i mean it's not realistic but the purpose of these characters is not for them to actually be realistic and there you go with these characters you can simplify your character creation process and make your documentaries faster without risking any potential views if you like this video you'll probably like this one consider subscribing and i will see you in the next video bye bye